Today now discussing the Diagonalized Matrix. Diagonalized Matrix by using the orthogonal transformation. So we have we formed a Diagonalized Matrix by using you have to di orthogonal transformation. In this method you have to solve totally 5 steps will be there. So you have to discuss now. What is the first step? You have to find out the characteristic equation. Next step you have to find out the Eigen values. Next you have to find out the Eigen vectors. Next you have to find out the modal matrix. Next you have to find out the <coughs> normalized matrix. Next you have to find out the diagonalized. You have to totally 6 steps actually. You have to do this problem now. So what is the problem now? So in this problem, so first you have to construct, this is our question, construct a yeah. diagonalized, construct a diagonalized matrix, we form the diagonalized matrix by using orthogonal transformation. We have to form the diagonalized matrix by using what? Orthogonal transformation. So, today class is discussing how should form the diagonalized matrix by using orthogonal transformation for given matrix will be A equal to here 10 minus 2 minus 5. So, here minus 2, 2 then here 3, here minus 5, 3 then here 5. So, this is a given matrix. So, we form the diagonalized matrix by using what? Orthogonal transformation. What is the first step I am telling now? So, first we form, find out the characteristic equation. The next we have to find out the eigenvalues, eigenvectors like that. So, our first step we have to find out the step 1. We find out the characteristic equation. So, this is a 3 by 3 matrix. You know how should find out the characteristic matrix? What is the formula will be lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3 equal to 0. So, what is our S1? S1 is the sum of the main diagonal element. So, here S1 equal to sum of the main diagonal element 10 plus 2 plus 5. What is that now? You have great now 10 plus 2 plus 5. So, you got the 10 plus 12, 12, 12 plus 5 will be got it the 7. Next, we have to find out the S2. So, our S2 will be sum of the cofactors of the main diagonal element. You have to leave out the first row, first column. Then, so get it the 2, then here 3, so here 3, here 5. The next, leave out the second row, second column. So, here 10, minus 5, so here minus 5, here 5. The next, so we form the here. Leave out third or third column. So this will be 10 minus 2, here minus 2, then minus. We form the have to find out. So this will be 5 2 are 10. So 10 minus this will be 9. Then plus put here 10 5 are 50. So 50 minus 25. 5 5 is 25. So here. So, this will be 10 twos are 20. So, 20 minus 4. We got this will be 1 plus here this will be 25 plus this will be 16. So, totally 25 plus 1 will be 26. 26 will be plus 16. We got the value will be 12, here no 42. So, totally got it about answer will be 42 for the S2. Similarly, we should find out the S3. What is S3? Determinant of A. We find determinant of A, this matrix. So, here I take the what? So, this will be 10. 10 into this. Leave out the first row, first column. This will be what? 5 2s are 10. So, 10 minus here 3 3s are 9. The next. So, this will be minus 2. So, minus will be plus 2 here. So, can leave out this row, this column. So, this will be minus 10, then this will be plus 15. The next here minus 5. I can take this will be minus 5 into leave out this row, this column. So, this will be minus 6, minus 6. So, this will be 
plus 5 twos are 10. So therefore, here 10 into 1, then plus 2 into here 5. The next, <coughs> this will be minus 5 into here 4. Which 4 I got it now here? Six, 5 minus 6 will be plus 4. So you got it a 10 plus 10, 20. 20 minus 20 will be get it a 0. So what about our S3? So S3 our got it value will be 0. So <coughs> our step 1 we have find out the character C equation. What is the character C equation? Just substitute the S1, S2, then S3. So here S1 will be 17. We substitute the character C equation. What do you have to character C equation here? Here lambda cube minus, what about your S1? So here S1 will be 17. So therefore, 17 lambda square then here plus S2. So therefore, here plus 42 lambda. What about your S3? S3 will be 0. So therefore, plus 0 equal to 0. You have to find out. The step 1 will be over. What about a step 2? Our step 2 will be to finding the eigenvalues. To find eigenvalues. From the equation, we have the lambda cube. So, we have the three eigenvalues in this problem. So, here lambda cube minus 17 lambda square plus 42 lambda then equal to 0. <coughs> here there is no constant term. Here constant term will be 0. If a constant term will be there, no, we should find out the synthetic division. But there is no constant term. So here how can to find out the lam lambda value? So here lambda cube. So totally here the three eigenvalues in this problem. So I can make how can to find, find out now from this equation I can take the lambda will be common. So what is the lambda? I take the common. So here lambda square minus 17 lambda plus 42 equal to 0. So, so lambda will be 0, this one eigenvalue. So, therefore, lambda equal to 0. Then, what about next value will be? So, lambda square minus 17 lambda plus 42 equal to 0. You can factorize. So, if you multiply by the term, we have created a 42, adding will be 17. So, I think this will be 42. So, if you multiply by plus 42, I can add in will be minus 17. So, this will be 14 trees are. What is a 14 trees are now? 14 trees are will be 3 4 are 12, 3 1 3 will be 42. So, this will be 3 into 14. You got the here now minus 3 minus 14. So, minus 3 minus 14 minus 17, minus 3 minus 14 will get in the plus 42. So, you got the 3 eigenvalue. What is already lambda will be 0. So, here lambda minus 3, then lambda minus 14 equal to 0. So, what is final eigenvalue? Lambda equal to 0, then 3, then 14. We got the 3 eigenvalue. So, our step 2 will be concluded. Next, we go to the step 3. Our step 3 will be finding the eigenvectors.